Good morning, it is 8.59 a.m. And today, I'm gonna be filming a wedding with the Sony A7S III. Get it, get it. Dynamic range on this thing is just so good. It's an amazing camera. I keep saying that, but it's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So great, so, so great. My friends at Sony were able to send me an advanced copy of this camera. This is a full production model, final firmware, and I'm gonna put it through its paces at a real wedding. Beyond excited about this. Beyond excited. I was eating a breakfast of biscuits and eggs with my wife and baby yesterday, and I get a text from one of my friends at Sony, and he says, hey, uh, you wanna try out the A7S III? Y yes of course. Cool, when can you pick it up? So I got the camera, and I immediately thought, can I film a wedding with it? So I called my friend Phil. This guy. I said, hey, uh, you got any weddings coming up? And he said, how about tomorrow? So now I'm filming a wedding today with the A7S III. Proper dental hygiene is important before any wedding. Almost to the wedding venue. Temperature is currently 93 degrees Fahrenheit, but don't you worry. This is the start of the day. Guaranteed to get hotter. And with that humidity as well, mmm, feels like 106. Great. Love it. Came close to walking onto Bucky's face. I kid you not. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Welcome to Balmery. Balmere? Balmerea? I don't know how you pronounce this place. Beautiful wedding venue here in the northwest of Houston. The A7S III is not the only new piece of gear I'm shooting with at this wedding. We also have the Ziyun Crane 2S, yes, which is going to be balanced well with the A7S III, even with the battery grip. All right. Hot day today, very hot day, but doing well right now. Trying to get some nice ambient shots here of the venue, trees, fountain, details, things like that. Establishing, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But, my goodness, the dynamic range of the A7S III with these establishing shots is incredible. I'm like, the sky is properly exposed, shadows properly exposed, clouds not overexposed. I'm shooting buildings, but I'm also getting the clouds and they're not overexposed. It looks so good. All right, this is XAVCSI, all I, 240 megabits per second, 422 10-bit. Nice little push on this bridge here. Really nice parallax movement of the bridge. You get the stuff behind it. Look at that shadow detail. Still getting a lot of room there, a lot of detail in the shadows. Here's the bride and groom's cottage where they're getting ready. Let's do a nice wide gimbal shot. Gonna film a little bride interview. The moment I met him, he was just someone that you could tell cared and wanted to go the extra mile. And I had never felt that with anyone else and felt so loved and so cared for. Can't wait to be there to watch him be an amazing father. There's now a couch out here in the field where the girl's gonna be hanging out. Okay, y'all can like cross your arms like in with each other. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Some hold hands, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, go in here. Like, One, two, three. Awesome. Taylor, look to your right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. And Taylor, look here. What Looking a little moody with this lighting here. The groom is about to come in here, actually standing about where I'm at, I think and we're gonna film him getting ready. So, a little dramatic light coming in. See how the A7S III handles that. Highlight shadow roll off indoors. Mm. There's also a lot of green coming in because of the lights reflecting off the grass outside, so I'm very interested to see how this color corrects to remove that. Should be really fascinating to see.
We're now done with all of the prep for the day. Now it's time to have the ceremony right in here. I'm very interested to see how the A7S III handles recording for a longer period of time. Granted, this is an air-conditioned building. I'm not really worried, but I'm still gonna set it up, see how it does. wedding ceremony is now complete. It wasn't that long, about 15-ish minutes, so got through it pretty quickly. Zero sign of overheating. Camera got slightly warm. I'd say not any warmer than my A7S IIs, and this isn't super dramatic either, considering my A7S II can survive for hours long weddings indoors in 4K and air conditioning. So this isn't like revolutionary that the A7S III can also record indoors 4k in air conditioning one interesting thing i learned though is that the a7s3 eye detect autofocus actually works if people are wearing a face mask so if you are filming a wedding and there are people wearing face masks you can still get that focus love it interior establishing shots here nothing too crazy a little florals a little detail very nice very nice crane two handling all that well <laughs> most important photo of the day whoever thought of beer burrows in case you're not aware of what's going on right now, one of the best parts of filming a wedding in Texas is the beer burrows, the little donkeys that have come to a decent amount of weddings I film, and they have little baskets with beer. It's the beer burrow title. I love it, I love them. They're wonderful. I want to take one home with me. My baby could ride them. Couple portrait time out here. Lies light, nice. Uh, don't know where they are right now. You can come in. You can be on this.
Alrighty, a lot of stuff is about to happen back to back to back to back. Couple's gonna come in, immediately we're gonna go into first dance, all of the formal dances, dinner. The A7S III is handling everything flawlessly. I just keep looking at it lovingly. I'm like, it's just so good. It's wonderful. I love it. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching this wedding film making behind the scenes with the Sony a7S III. This camera is, in one word, incredible. And I am so excited to film many more weddings with it in the future. I have many more videos that I plan on releasing about this camera very soon, including an in-depth review of the a7S III for wedding filmmakers. And if you're interested in seeing that, I would love if you would consider liking this video and subscribing. I also wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to my friend Phil for allowing me to tag along to this wedding. Thanks, Phil. In addition, I should also thank my friends at Arceus Creative. Without them, it would have taken me much longer to edit this BTS, but they were able to help me edit it quickly. So if you have a backlog of videos and need help with editing, you can use the link down in the description below to get 10% off your first editing project with Arceus Creative. No matter whether it's a wedding video, corporate or commercial video, or a YouTube video like this one, they are here to help. Just say, I sent you. Also, if you happen to be a wedding filmmaker, which this was a wedding BTS, so it would make sense if you were, you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings. To help you out with that, I've created a free guide that's gonna walk you through some practical steps that you can take right now in your business to book more couples and film more weddings. It's a completely free gift to you. You can download it at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.